This is Claire McCallan and welcome back to the Christian channel. Today is exceptionally exciting because right in time for St. Patrick's Day, we have Emmy nominated actress Roma Downey here to talk to us about all things her new show, The Baxters. And we get to celebrate a wonderful woman from Northern Ireland, not unlike my family. Uh, Roma, my family is from County Tyrone in Carrick. Oh, for heaven's sake. We're practically <laughs> neighbors, Claire. I'm I from, believe it. I'm from Derry City. Oh, are you really? I'm Wonderful. Very, yeah, born and raised. Well, uh -huh. this is just, I have to tell you, a really exciting day for me because I grew up on Touched by an Angel. As far as I was concerned, there were two women on television and it was you and Oprah. And so this is <laughs> a really wonderful moment. And I also was blessed to watch your show, The Baxters. And I am so excited to get to tell our viewers how great it is. Uh, did you binge through it? I did binge through it. I thought, I thought I'll watch one episode and I watched everything they sent me. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a great sign. You're not the first person that has said that today. And I know we made it and we said, this is going to be so bingeable. It's it like, totally is. But I tell you, it's the reason I wanted to make it in the first place, because when I picked up that first book in Karen Kingsbury's phenomenal book series, The Baxters, the book, first book was Redemption. And I just couldn't put it down. I was like, I was just hungry. I was going, just, I just wanted to know what happened, what happened next, what happens next, what happens next. And I thought if we can achieve that in the TV series, that, you know, that page turning uh, momentum in our storytelling. And I really feel like we succeeded in doing that. So we're so excited. Did. Yeah, it's a beautiful family drama, um, a family of faith, which we don't often get to see on our screens, on our small screens anyway. And, um, you know, Elizabeth and John Baxter are the matriarch and patriarch of a big family. They have five grown children. Um, they hold steady in the middle. They model a very loving and committed marriage. Again, not something we see every day on TV. Um, but whirling around them is the untidiness that is family you know it's like it's a family of faith but they're flawed people they make mistakes they fall down they pray they get back up oh, really? um it's it's a really yeah really um good stories well told yeah absolutely and what's really unique about this as a christian program is that you don't shy away from those messy parts of life whether it's dealing with infidelity or substance abuse but you portray it without ever being gratuitous or causing scandal. You don't make people look at things that they can't unsee. Can you tell me a little bit about how you balance that in a story? Yeah, I mean, that's an important point that you're making. We really, you know, we had many discussions about that because we didn't want to shy away from these important issues. And obviously these themes run through Karen's books. And my job was to adapt the books with honesty to the screen so that her millions of fans would recognize their beloved book series on television. But, um, uh, you know, there is nothing that is gratuitous, but, um, you know, the first, uh, the first season deals with this infidelity and the heartbreak that their second oldest daughter, Carrie is going through. It's interesting. I think when she learns that her husband has betrayed her, that he's been cheating on her, that the family all react quite differently and that she herself is the one that is willing to walk the road of forgiveness. You know, remember this first series is called Redemption. And so what we're going to see, you know, is that that we can make the worst mistakes, that we can, you know, let people down around us. But ours is a loving God. And with, you know, when there's real regret, and you know we can own we can own our stuff and and ask for forgiveness that forgiveness is available and i you know i found that so moving you know i mean we know that as in our faith walks that that is so but we don't often see it reflected in the dramas that we watch and so i feel that for families watching you know hopefully it'll be conversation starter too you know because people are going to see shades of their own lives in these characters um having five adult children and each with a different personality gave us you know opportunities to tell different stories each of them will have their sort of moment in the spotlight so to speak you know this 
first season is dealing with Carrie. The next season will move into Ashley. The next season will be about Luke and so on. Um, and each of them will bring, you know, a different uh, conflict or a different heartache that needs to be figured out. Not unlike Touched by an Angel in some ways, you know, that the angels had to show up each week when somebody was at an emotional crossroads in their lives and the kind of lovingly had to figure it out. This is a kind of lovingly have to figure it out and coming together. Now, they don't always like each other, you know, and this is, I think, where the entertainment value comes, you know. And anybody that's ever had sisters know how sisters are the best of friends, but, you know, don't get them started into each other, you know. Um, and uh, and I, got, I was able to cast lovely an ensemble group uh, Ted mm -hmm. McGinley plays my husband John Baxter I stepped into the role of Elizabeth Baxter myself and it was fun to be back on camera I haven't done that in a very long time uh, the five young actors that play our kids are amazing mm -hmm. uh, the youngest uh, of those kids Erin Baxter is actually played by my very own daughter oh, Ryan wonderful. as well plays Erin Okay. And so that was very fun for both of us. My dear friend, Kathy Lee Gifford, uh, stepped in to guest star as uh, uh, Elizabeth's best friend, Lillian. And so that and her was- Her daughter's in it as well, right? Her daughter's in it. So that Cassidy plays the girlfriend of Luke Baxter, uh, a very important role and has a great storyline coming up, but I no spoiler alerts here. But what a gift to create a show about family with family. Uh, amazing, uh, four families. And you know, for family. family, with family, for family. But I agree. And it is just my absolute recommendation that our viewers do watch it with their families. Right. It's safe for everybody to watch together. It opens up great conversations. I can't recommend it enough. Roma, can you tell us where people will be able to watch this wonderful show? Absolutely. People will go to Amazon's Prime Video. Uh, it's a great uh, streaming service, a global streaming service. So wherever you're watching in the world, you'll be able to check it out. And it premieres uh, uh, or streams. We no longer premiere, right? We stream <laughs> uh, it, uh, on March 28th. And, you know, uh, my hope when families gather this Easter season, mm -hmm. uh, because once it uh, once it downloads up there, it lives up there. It just mm -hmm. will be there. Uh, anytime you want to come in and see it, but I encourage you to come in at Easter with your family and binge the Baxters. Oh, and binge you will. You're all going to love this. Roma Downey, congratulations again on your wonderful new television show. And thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Thank you, County Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Have a good one. Bye.